A man could face jail time for what officials say he did to a bald eagle back in March. We're just learning of the incident involving an ATV and a firearm. Well, 10 on your side's Deanna LeBlanc spoke to a woman who saw it happen. Deanna? Yeah, Adina, that woman says she was driving down Mill Swamp Road back in March when she saw something disturbing and called animal control. That call likely sparked a federal investigation. The witness was on this road on March 13th when she says she saw a man on an ATV running over what looked to her clearly to be a bald eagle. That property belongs to Alan Thacker, who now faces the misdemeanor federal charge of killing a bald eagle. Court paperwork filed yesterday says that Thacker shot a bald eagle and drove over it with an all-terrain vehicle until it was dead. It's unconscionable because people... They have to know that shooting and killing, shooting a bald eagle is against federal law. Carol Seneschal with the Eagle on Alliance is dedicated to protecting and growing the bald eagle population, one no longer endangered or protected in Virginia. We are angry. We are appalled. We are, um, I can't use the words we used. Seneschal says her anger is only growing. This is the second bald eagle shot in our area in a matter of weeks. In an unrelated incident, someone shot a beloved bald eagle named Camellia. Seneschal is raising funds for information that leads to that arrest. I've been on the news too much in the last couple of weeks um, because of bald eagle shootings. This has to stop, and it has to stop now. And the only way we can get that to stop is to educate the public. Now, we did knock on Thacker's door today, but no one answered. His lawyer declined comment for now, saying he's still gathering information. If convicted, Thacker would face up to a year in jail and a $5,000 fine. The U.S. Attorney's Office is also asking that if convicted, he forfeit his ATV and his firearms. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.